They had to play uh, almost that entire game without Trace and didn't seem to blink. It's, uh, uh, how much of that was just veteran leadership and knowing that that's the way it's got to be and that was the way it was gonna, you guys were going to get that done, you too? Um, I mean, I mean, we're a great team overall. Uh, we, have, we have we have great talent. Uh, Coach recruited great, great talent to come in. Uh, and we had talent to actually stay to as well. Uh, I mean, we all we all just came out and competed, and we got a job done. And I, I, I'm, 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 lost, I'm, I'm in loss of words right now. How happy I am. Greg Doyle, do you have anything? I'm good. Okay. Uh, let's go to Rick Bozich. Rob, the last couple of games, I think you only had two points in the last two games combined. You, you came out and got 17 and really got – uh, the offense going in the first half. What changed? It seemed like you were more aggressive and more confident. Um, I would say just having faith, faith in myself, no matter what happens. Um, I mean, I had a, actually had to talk with Coach Woodson before shoot around today, and he told me just if no one else is in your corner, that he's in my corner. So I mean, we just had a really good talk before shoot around, and that just really boosted my spirit. And um, I mean, finally, I mean, we finally beat Purdue. I was what 0 and six. I mean, we just needed this win. We needed this win bad. It's, it's one thing to um, beat a top five team, but how sweet was it for you to beat a team in your own backyard where you're from? Great. I mean, I, every time I go home, people always talk, talk trash to me. So, I mean, I just finally needed to get one. So, yeah, I mean, that was huge for us. I mean, shout out to X. He had a really big game in the second half. Michael Durr, he came in when, when Trace went down, and everyone really just stepped up, and uh, it was a team effort out there. Yeah, now I'm ready. Um, Rob, uh, what was that like after the game, the students coming on the court and all that? Just what was that like? Uh, I mean, it was hot. <laughs> it was hot out there, <laughs> i tell you that. But uh, no, nah, just something I won't, remember, uh, I won't ever forget. I mean, just these fans, they've supported me through, through everything. So I just want to say thank you for the, the crowd tonight was huge. They really bo boosted us. But yeah, that moment is a moment I will never forget. Rob, have you ever? Uh, is it me? Yeah, I'm sorry. Rob, have you ever felt that way on the basketball court since you've been at IU? And could you also talk a little bit about what Mike Woodson has done for you in terms of your confidence? Uh, honestly, no, not really. In the first half, I feel like every time I shot the ball, it was going to go in. So yeah, I mean, Coach Woodson, from the jump, he knows. He knew I struggled last year. So like, like he's been saying all the time that uh, he's going to keep believing me and keep um, instilling confidence in me. So. Yeah, I mean, I just really played my heart up today, played with the heart on my sleeve tonight. Uh, you guys have been criticized a lot this year. How does it feel to have that game and shut the doubters? Shut the door, please. Um, I mean, it feels, it feels good. Um, I mean, we, I mean, obviously we see it a lot. Um, but uh, as I said before, the uh, only word that, that matters right now is coaches. And I mean, it's only one win as well. So, I mean, you got plenty more, more to go. Rob, uh, talk about what this can do for the rest of the season for you to get a jump start on this, the, the team. I mean, obviously, it's a gigantic win. But you guys have slayed two streaks here, you have the road streak and now the streak to uh, Purdue. And you've got another challenge coming with Michigan. But what does this win do for you guys, confidence-wise, going forward? Oh, no, it's huge. It's really huge. Um, I mean, they're a fourth-ranked team in the country. So it's a, it's really a schedule booster at the end of the season. And um, I mean, really, we just have to Celebrate tonight, and then tomorrow we're back at it. Practice, and got to get ready for Michigan. We just got to take it one game at a time. Tyler, Dustin, Rab Jones. Rob, this is a bigger picture question, but um, did you go to IU Purdue games growing up? And are there any memories that stick out to you from there? Um, I think I went to like one or two back when they had like Juwan when Purdue was at, they were really good. Juwan Johnson, Robbie Hummel, all of them. So, yeah, I know. A lot, of my, a lot of my family went to Purdue. Um, my mom never really pushed me to be a Purdue Purdue fan or IU fan. I was just a just a basketball fan when I was a kid. So, I mean, I know the rivalries are super intense. And um, I mean, once I got here, I really actually felt it from just everybody. And know they had a a little a little streak on us. So, so yeah. I just want to get you guys' thoughts on uh, Michael Dore and the minutes he gave you guys tonight, especially against that front line. Hey, Xavier, go ahead. Uh, I mean, before the game, uh, I told Mike, I said, it's going to be your day. And, I mean, you know how Trace was actually feeling. Uh, so, I mean, Mike was, Mike was actually going to be ready to play. And, and Coach told him, told him that he was going to go to him and, and be ready. And, and for a player not to play as much, 
as he, as he has been in the past, and to come out here and compete with, with, with those guys in the top top five team in the nation, it, it shows a lot. Okay, last question, Dustin. Thank you, Robin Michael. Oh, yeah, I mean. I got you. I'll answer. I'll answer. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, just Big Mike, just his spirit in practice, really. I mean, he came from a program where he played 20, 30 minutes a game, and then he hasn't really been playing that much. I mean, we have Tracy Jackson Davis. So, But, yeah, him just staying ready, coming in and guarding. And um, just his spark, that little mid-range he hit was huge. And uh, just his energy and leadership he's bringing to the table is really big for us. I'll make it fast. Rob, just uh, when you get picked up at center court there, basically, at the uh -huh. end, in that mob, just – how did that happen? Where were you? What was it like? Who picked you up? I mean, what can you tell us about that little experience right there? Uh, so, yeah, I was trying to make my way through the crowd to my teammates. And then once we got all in a circle, I think it was X, actually, who started it. <laughs> X tried to pick me up, and Trace picked me up, and then my whole, all the teammates picked me up. So, yeah, it was really just a surreal experience I won't forget. And, uh, I mean, I just love my teammates, and uh, I love Indiana University. <laughs>